Hey guys, Jim from Slick Audio. I just talked to you about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, with guitar stuff. Um, I want to do a quick uh, Summer Nam wrap up. We didn't do that. Meant to do it last week, and um, <laughs> just everything turned into a cluster. And uh, it's, it's it's been busy here at Slick Audio. It's been busy here at Slick Cyber Systems. So uh, it's been freaking busy here. Um, just a quick wrap up. I mean, we had a we had a fantastic show. We had a great booth. Uh, we had two 80 inch monitors there, and um, that we uh, that we rent. We've learned to rent stuff because it's like uh, cheaper than shipping it. Go figure. And um, it's way easier enough to set the shit up. Uh, but anyways, uh, we had a great turnout. A lot of people. A lot of excitement. A lot of interest. Um, I had my L1550 laptop there, which is my laptop, so of course it was going to be with me. I also had my M560 and M570 there uh, as well, and I'm going to touch base a little topic on that in a moment, but I just want to talk. Uh, we had uh, 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 Rick and um, um, God bless his name. Uh, this this is this is Jim on being tired on a Friday afternoon. Anyways, we had Personas guys come over, and uh, they were they were talking with us for a little bit. We did some interviews uh, with Shao Li, uh, who's a um, uh, Chris Korean? She's, she's no, she's uh, from uh, Australia, but from Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Okay, there you go. What, what he said. Now, but lives um, in the states. And uh, she lives in she lives in in the states and has been here. I believe she said six years. Six to ten. Six to ten. Like you know, twelve years. She's been here a while. And uh, anyways, um, you know, real nice. But she did a, an interview that actually uh, posted overseas and. Um, a great gal, and uh, I, she gave us our CD, her CD. Uh, it was a very good. Uh, she's the the theremin queen. Theremin. So uh, if you don't know what a theremin is, look it up. Pretty cool instrument. Um, anyways, so uh, neat stuff. Uh, we see we had uh, Chris Selm from uh, Mixed Down Online. Mm -hmm. um, great guy uh, out of Canada. Uh, we had. Um, oh you, goodness gracious! Is your beard envy? Yeah, beer, yeah, he does give me beard envy. Yeah, was, mine's fucking white. <laughs> is I'm gonna start using just for men, guys, just, just so I can get this freaking white out of here. I'm starting to feel old. I guess I am getting old, pal. But um, uh, who else, Chris? Help me out here, buddy. Um, uh, Glenn from. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> Glenn Fricker. Glenn if Fricker. you all don't know SMG, Glenn Fricker, he is just—he's a great guy, classic guy. Tells it the way it is. I love that about him. That that that. That brutal honesty, the fuck you, you know, honesty, I just, I love it. It's beautiful. It's, uh, Glenn, keep up the good work, man. I enjoy watching your stuff. It's fun. Chris Elm, I enjoy your stuff, too. Don't, no, no offense uh, there. It's, it's it's a different kind of uh, uh, of a wave of stuff. But, um, you know, uh, so anyways, uh, we, Glenn and uh, the guys from Sound on Sound uh, were there. Um, they're, they're, they're great guys, uh, Dave and, and uh, some of the other ones. They're, they're just, they're wonderful wonderful people and uh, it was it was just a great show overall so uh, we really enjoyed it we enjoyed the people down there and the hospitality in, in Nashville is phenomenal so uh, man I'll tell you that's that's one show I, I absolutely love to go to that show um, for you know for the hospitality and the food and the, the, goes by fast. the it does it goes by pretty quick it's it's a it's a very it's an intimate show so everybody asks me why do you like the show so it's an intimate show you know you get to talk to people you can actually discuss you can hear yourself think um, it is what it is. Nam, take uh, wind of that. Uh, you need to, to to calm things down a little bit at times. Uh, at the other new, you know, at, at the big show. So um, I will say this. Uh, you know, we had a, a, an extremely positive. I had mentioned the M560 and M570. Um, we had a, a great, uh, just a great turnout, and uh, we've sold a shit ton of them. Uh, since and uh, they're they're still it seems to be a real hot cake, um, you know, for us. Um, and we had uh, after the sound on sound interview, we had some folks overseas busting our uh, cookies uh, that they were uh, you know just plain nooks, you know. So uh, well, let let me let me correct you, uh, uh, just plain nook assholes. Um, it's this simple. Yes, it is a nook platform. That stands for next unit of computing. It's no different than an ATX case or an EATX or you know uh, an ITX case. It, it's a Nook case. It's a Nook platform. It's the it's the size of motherboard and the size of case. We happen to 
on, on our other company, we happen to be an Intel Gold partner. We're pretty fucking big in the, in the IT side. So this audio shit is kind of new for us, and we're breaking ground in there because we're a fucking IT company. All right? So we're a pretty big fucking IT company. So knowing that, that, that I've said that three times with an F-bomb in there, I guess you get my point, uh, naysayers. So it may be, you know, just a nook to you, but it is, it is our tweaks of BIOS. There are two custom BIOS settings that were added in there for us. They are ours. They are not just an off-the-shelf fucking box. So if you think it is, go buy one and try to do what we're doing. Good luck. So, and, and I had another genius say, oh, nothing on the BIOS you could tweak to, to make audio, you know, uh, you know perform any better. Uh, dumbass. Horseshit. Because um, we can prove it. We've been proving it. Um, so now that I got that off my chest, um, you know, naysayers, go to fuck away. Use something else. I don't care what you do. Uh, for those who are coming on board and using these machines, they already know. They know the power. It's, uh, it's without a doubt. They're incredible little boxes. And as far as our big machines go, we've certainly proved to the professional world. Um, so, uh, you know, everybody else is following along at this point. So, uh, cool, man. Slick audio all the way. Um, you know, look, we're here for you. We're here for you guys. You know, you the customer. We're not here. We're not big, big brother Apple, big brother HP, big brother Dell. Um, and look, we're partners, you know, with, with all these companies outside in the IT world. But in the audio world, they're our fucking arch enemy. And it is what it is. Because we make a, just a far superior machine. And it comes back to that customer service, guys. We're going to help put a computer that is ready for audio out of the gate. You have to do nothing other than turn it on and use it. Um, you know, look, they are electromechanical devices. Every once in a while, you get a failure of something that's going to happen. So I can't say every machine we've ever sent out has been 100% perfect. You know, we're human, right? We burn them in here. We do our best. We ship them out. They get there, and, and we've had, I think, two or three failures uh, over the course of uh, three and a half years. Uh, that ain't bad, you know, but it's, it's, it shit happens. Yeah, we had a bad stick of memory, and we had two bad SSD drives right yeah. out of the fucking gate. And, uh, and they tested fine when we when we built them. Anyways, I don't want to dwell on that crap. But, uh, you know, excuses are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Um, so there's no excuse. If something breaks on it, we're going to make it right. And uh, we'll get you a machine that works. Um, so, you know, we're here for you. We want to put the right machine into your hands so you can create music. Because I want to hear the music. I really do. Um, a lot of our customers uh, share, you know, links or music with us when they're done. And, uh, and you know what? It's really cool listening to that and uh, and it's not always a genre that I typically listen to it doesn't matter I, I you know and music is just such a universal language of the world and I love to to uh, and, and I'm not saying you know we're all sitting here singing kumbaya on a freaking campfire you know but uh, but it's it is a universal language I don't care what what language you speak I don't care what culture you're from um, you know if if you know progressive metal turns you on I love fucking progressive metal love it uh, that happens to be my thing but I love other types of music as well and um and it's, uh, it's just really cool when a customer sends, uh, you know, something in that they've done uh, on our machine uh, or before or after, whatever, you know, and, and uh, we get to listen to it and, and, uh, and hear what they're, what they're all about. You can kind of get a little peek in inside their soul at that point. And uh, it's, it's neat stuff. I really, I just really enjoy that. That, that, that touches all of us here in the, in the, uh, in the company. It's, um, it's just cool stuff. So you're not going to get that with any of the other companies that are going to, you know, sell you a box and say, okay, good luck. You know, actually, they won't even say good luck. It's just here. You know, here's your receipt, you know, from, from your big box store. Outside of that, um, you know, they, they have no idea about audio. They don't know about anything. And, uh, you know, and the audio companies uh, that sell their gear, they know their gear very well, but they don't know, um, you know, computers very well. Um, you know, that's not their job to. Uh, you know, and it shouldn't be. They're, they're selling you a product, and that's what they're supporting. So, uh, you know, the cool thing is, is we understand like all of it, and um, and and can really put together some nice systems for you. Uh, so we did a, a little guitar thing uh, for you a bit ago, and I showed you how we used uh, technology that we actually made. When when I couldn't find a solution, I made it, um, and that's just what we do um, here here at Slick Audio. Um, Geez, let me see. Uh, anything I'm miss missing, Chris? Uh, back to the NAM wrap-up review. 
Mm. From from dear Jim here, uh, I don't think it, I don't um, think so. Pretty much covers it all. Great show, great people, great time. Um, can't wait till next year. Going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we will be at Winter Nam. Um, it's uh, don't know what booth yet because booth assignments haven't happened um, yet. <laughs> Nam, get us our fucking booth. I, I, you know what? Come to think of it, I think the biggest thing that people had a lot of questions about was um, Dante and networking. Dante, Dante. Yes, Dante's Inferno. That was an interesting movie. Oh, wow. so, anyways, uh, yes, a lot of people had questions about Dante, uh, which is, is is one of the protocols uh, for audio over, over Ethernet. So, uh, what the hell is audio over Ethernet? We can just see this wire here. This would be a, a network wire, and it happens to be connected to our our corporate network. But anyways, um, you can pass audio through that actually very well, and um, and it's fantastic stuff. Uh, it really works well in situations. Um, yeah, I'll give I'll give a quick recap on it. I don't want to dwell too long, so I can talk for. Well, I actually, did do an hour long seminar not long ago um, at Nam uh, on this. So, anyways, uh, it, it's it's a it's a way to to make shit talk uh, over Ethernet. And the cool thing is, is if it's Dante enabled, um, any device, any manufacturer, which there are over. 1600 now I think I know it's 1500 for sure I think it's over 1600 now manufacturers products that have uh, that are that are Dante enabled uh, you know like the Yamaha consoles I did it always comes to mind just because it's, it's one of the first ones that I ever ran across um, the uh, CLQL consoles I know for sure the, the, the big guys uh, Ravage uh, does um, the uh, the nuage uh, stuff uh, that they do for the studio this that's all audio over Ethernet uh, technology, Dante technology, and it can talk to lab group and power amps, you know, that are that are Dante enabled and never use an analog cable. You know, Digital Snake, which runs Dante right from the the, the preamp, is actually on the the snake uh, on the stage box, uh, if you will, and then uh, and then you just you know pass the the Ethernet through Ethernet past the audio uh, digitally wherever you need it to go, and then whatever's uh, you know Dante on the other end, uh, if you will. Uh, transcribes it and then turns it back into analog. It's it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal tech. Uh, my studio is is Dante. It's RedNet enabled, Dante enabled, um, and uh, you know for schools uh, that are doing multi room, you know single server, single SAN, um, a single server. It would be multi server, but single SAN, um, and uh, I, it's perfect. It's the perfect protocol for it. Um, you know I, I think the, don't think Thunderbolt is the fastest out there. Uh, as far as uh, your latency, just because of how it talks, to, you know, talking directly to memory, bypassing uh, CPU cycles. Um, but uh, in the in the audio over Ethernet world, we we get this advantage of being able to stretch for very long distances, and we can run it over fiber. We can do all kinds of neat shit. So if you're doing stadiums, you know, perfect protocol for that. Uh, if you're doing extremely large studios where there's a studio A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, blah blah, L, M, O, P. I was going to tell a joke on that, but I decided not to because it would have sucked anyways. It's a kindergarten joke. Where's the pee running down my leg? Oh, whatever. Uh, anyways, um, you know, that's a perfect scenario for there because there you can, you can you know, route and, and uh, you can route audio wherever you want. Houses of Worship, another great place for it. So it's it's good stuff. Uh, and, and if you want to know more about it, certainly give us a call and we can help you out. But, uh, yeah, so, the, yeah, Chris, there were, there were a ton of uh, comments about that. It was cool stuff. So, those of you who haven't seen Chris yet, um, I'm not. <laughs> he won't let me turn around. <laughs> Fucker won't let me turn around. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he's going to end up on one of these sooner or no. later. <laughs> no, I'm not. The man behind the camera. Pay no attention to the man behind the camera. Uh, he just wants my face up in there. Oh, my God, I just got like 30 emails all in one shot. I need my glasses to see the sons of bitches. Uh, it's my. It's my generator going, fuck you. <laughs> now it's a uh, generator issues here earlier and had to get it repaired. And they finally decided to come through only, what, four hours, five hours late? About that. Minor details. But hey, um, it was a great show. NAM was uh, 2018, Summer NAM 2018 was a great show. Wonderful success for Slick Audio. I think wonderful success for everybody that showed up. Um, there were some great people. We made even more friends, and 
you know, it's pretty cool when, when you show up at a show and, and it's like family. You just, you know, say hi to everybody, you know, big hugs, da da, da. I think that's cool. It's just, uh, music's good shit. Guys, I am done fucking talking. I still got to do work for another hour or two. And then I'm going to grab me a nice ice cold beer or cider, probably a cider tonight, and uh, just chill because I need it. So be good. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. And uh, play, man. Cheers. Talk to you.